Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another Banner Reaction. I'm DTM as always, and I have with me a very special guest. Why don't you introduce yourself, Rocket Gal? How's it going, everyone? It's your girl, Rocket Gal, and I'm really excited to see who we're going to get on this Fallen Banner, and I'm really excited that I get to react to this with a good friend, DTM. So thanks so much for having me on. It's my pleasure, and I'm super excited to... There's, like, so many candidates I would like. Even though I think it might be too early, I would love to see some of the engaged Fallen candidates here. But who are you expecting to be on this banner or wish to be on this banner? I've been saying Fallen King Crumb for quite some time. <laughs> I, But maybe it's just going to be a meme where it's like, it's going to be a Fallen King Crumb and we'll never get him. So I don't know. <laughs> but maybe, maybe today's a day where memes die and we finally get crom but at yes. the same time i have no idea who knows right. who knows nothing else to do but to get on the way with the reaction as always if you like the content be sure to like subscribe hit the bell all that jazz not only to my channel but to rocket gal's channel as well the link will be in the description down below and yeah let us begin all right who's it going to be okay that's uh, three houses music oh man more, more three <laughs> houses falling news Whoa, wait. Whoa, what? Huh? Oh. Oh, is wait. this during uh Yeah, this must have been th during 3. Behold Yeah, 3 hope. Whoa, that's cool. That's sick art. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is cool. Yeah, honestly. Okay, Distant whoa, AS whoa, 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 solo. Whoa, whoa. Distance. Whoa. What is that? Whoa, they got you got divine pulse. Yeah. That's that really cool. cool. Fallen what? Maria. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. I. Okay. All right. I get that. Whoa, Whoa. that's a cool okay. staff. Oh my yeah, gosh. What the heck? <laughs> it's almost like mistletane. I know. Whoa. Wait. Plus what happened? HP. What? <laughs> Wait. Like, what is this? Beaten. Whoa. Okay, another what's... unit with uh, that one skill, the B skill. Okay, we have oh, we have another not. two pager here. Wait. Oh, that must have been him. Like, whoa. <laughs> Okay, at least we got Poetic Justice and Attack Speed Unity. That's really good. Slaughter. I need to see what Holy Panic does. <laughs> Slaughter Peace was never an option. Yeah. Uh, whoa! Anakos! Finally! Huh, okay, Took long so... enough. <laughs> okay. Um, Savvy Fighter, oh, 4, Savvy Fighter 4 already. What? Oh. What? Well, I gotta get a copy of that. Yeah. My what? Valentine's Lucina Wait, would appreciate what? that. He doesn't even transform. Yeah, what the heck? Where's Where's the, uh... Oh my goodness. Come on, I guess we're saving it for a mythic unit. Rearmed we're hero. We're taking another rearm... What happened to Ascendant? Okay, well... Uh, no one cares about Ascendant anymore. Oh, oh there it God. is. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Wait, we're getting another rearm sword? Okay, sword is a bit of a letdown, but he looks really cool. Not gonna lie. Fate oh. unchanged. Okay. <laughs> Alright, oh what sort of shenanigans do we have now? Oh, oh another god, two pager. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, is snag four? Are snags gonna be good now? Honestly, I doubt it. <laughs> Probably. Oh snap! All, all right, right, we're going to need to. Died. Yeah, we're going to need to take a look at all these, um, all these uh, weapons and skills. All right, GHB unit, come on. Um, Wait, it didn't show, huh? Huh. Okay, let me yeah. search that up. Oh, it's Fallen Li Linus. That's the GHB. Oh, cool. Okay, that's cool. I could get behind that. Yeah, that's really cool. Wait, you can spark up to two times? All right, all right. I, I dig it. I'm, I'm okay with that. <laughs> wow. That was a very interesting um, banner, I have to say. Yeah, that was... I mean, we finally got Krom. It's about time. <laughs> and his art looked really good. It looked like it the same artist so as uh, Fallen Ike, to be honest. I think. Yeah. I'm not totally sure. I think it is. I will say, Violet here looks really, yeah, really Violet good. Yeah, Violet is like a super insane mode right here. That's awesome. Yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and take a look at these skills, starting with Captain Sword. I'll go ahead and read this. Um, accelerate special trigger, foe 
within foes with range equals one cannot move through spaces adjacent to unit, and foes with range two cannot move through spaces with within two spaces of units. So obstruct essentially. Oh wow. Yeah, that's interesting. Obstruct in a perf weapon. Hmm. I think that's the first time we've had something like that. I think so, yeah. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. At the start of combat, if unit's HP is greater than or equal to 25%, grants all stats plus 5 to unit, and neutralizes foes' uh, bonuses during combat. Restores 7 HP to unit after combat, and also, if foe initiates combat and unit's speed is greater than foe's speed, unit can counterattack before foe's first attack. So, preempt. Speed oh, preempt as well. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Pretty good uh, synergy with Divine Pulse. Yeah. And... Divine Pulse is the same as in um, uh, Brave Byleth, right? Yeah, I it looks like it. Yeah, boosts damage by 25% of unit speed, reduces damage from foes next attack by 75%, yeah. And units that next attack deals damage equals 20% of unit speed. Okay. Uh, that seems pretty good. Like, the preempt is really nice. Obviously, like, this will be weep to sweep effects, like, from oh, yeah. Legendary yeah, Veronica. Sure. And things like that, or from just hardy bearing in general. But like uh, the obstruct yeah. is really interesting. Okay. Yeah, I what, wonder what kind of like reference that is that to? Just I don't like, know from like the lore of like three hopes. <laughs> three hopes. I don't know if that makes any sense. I only but, played one uh, round of three hopes, so I personally don't know about this. <laughs> um, but yeah. Anyways, distant as solo. Unit can counterattack regardless of foe's range. If unit is not adjacent to an ally, grants attack speed plus five to unit during combat. Okay. All right. Interesting. So solo you skills to, are making a comeback? I guess. But <laughs> you have to be solo for this to work. And Yeah, that's true. Solos are not exactly in the greatest spot right now. Hmm. I wonder what the inheritance restrictions on this will be. If it's, like, yeah. to any unit, then, like, obviously armors wouldn't really like this because generally they have save and they're not going to be solo, so Distant Dark would still be better. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Mm. But for, like, I guess Omni tanks that uh, can get solo, like in Aether Raids, where you run that with, like, either Legendary or Young Eliwood, that could be really helpful. Yeah, yeah, I'd say so. It's uh, it's definitely a good alternative. Um, I think it's probably better than the the distant counter um, skills that do chip damage because I think oh, those ones are yes, just for sure. kind of <laughs> like, very bad. Honestly, I don't so, care what anyone one, says. Those skills are trash. Like distant they really pressure, are, honestly. like they're really bad. Um, but yeah, overall, very interesting units. Um, there's only one source of. Well, I guess Divine Pulse is there, too. So there's more damage reduction there. So honestly, probably going to be a very strong Omni tank, I think. Oh, yeah, for sure. Although it seems like she's going to be very speed dependent. So if she's not outspeeding by like a billion speed, she's probably right. not going to do as well. Um, right. But still a pretty good God Sword. All right. Yeah. This one really came out of nowhere yeah. for me. Fallen Maria. Okay. Oh, it's Mystery of the Emblem, not um, Shadow Dragon. I was, like, wondering, like, I played Shadow Dragon. I don't remember this, but... Yeah. 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 This staff looks so cool. I'm sorry. I'm just, like... It does look cool. It, it kind of reminds me of the uh, staff that uh, Scion Nana has with the Mistletane. Right. You're right. Okay, what okay. does... What do you do? Just heal 99. Yeah. Are we in a healing meta now? Have a miracle effect, too. <laughs> Maybe. You might be like a really good support unit. Oh yeah, the two scrolling. Fun. <laughs> All right. I don't know if you can like read this, but why don't you go ahead and read a uh, sacrifice staff and holy panic for us? Okay. Um. So sacrifice strike. Uh. Or sacrifice staff. <laughs> Foe cannot counterattack. Accelerate special trigger cooldown count minus one. Max uh, cooldown count value cannot be reduced below one. That makes sense. Uh. If unit mm -hmm. initiates combat or is within two spaces of an ally, grants everything plus five to unit. Uh, and neutralizes effects that inflict special cooldown charge minus X on unit during combat. Okay, that's okay. pretty good. Um, you get tempo grants. for yourself. Yeah, yeah, tempo. Or it's like half of tempo. Half of tempo, yeah. Um, 
and then uh, grants plus four to everything during combat. And if unit HP is greater than one, and foe would reduce unit HP to zero during combat. Unit survives with one HP, and after combat, restores ninety nine HP to unit to allies within nine spaces of unit. What? what? Okay, Wait. effects only triggers for once per map and does not stack with non special effects that allow for uh, yada yada yada. Okay, well, aside from that. What the heck? That is really good. Wait, so we just have, like, um, what was it? Life Unending or something from Legendary Fae? Just, like, as right, a right. supporting staff. What? But this is, like, even better and because miracle. you can't, yeah. like, uncharge it with, like, uh, right, like yeah. pulse smoke or something. This is, wow. That is insane. Wait. Like, imagine this with Brave Dimitri. That is really unkillable then. Hmm. Okay, let me, like, yeah, it's just, it's, like, just as long as you're above, like, 1 HP. It's, like, like super you easy to do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that is, wow. wow, what the heck? Okay, this is looking to be a super strong support unit. Right, exactly. Oh, my gosh. Mm. So, I guess, like, for, no, like, I, I, I would say this is probably better than Ymir, I think. Yeah, I would think so, because Ymir, Ymir, you have to be, like, above, like, 75, right, to get yeah, a miracle, 75%. which is, like, kind of rough, to be honest. This is as long as you're above one, which is, like, mm -hmm. almost all the time, which is almost like a brave self in a way. Right. Okay. All right, what does Holy Panic do? Okay, so if an assist skill is used, unit special cooldown count does not go down. That makes sense. Yep. Uh when special triggers boost damage by 25% of foe's resistance. Calculate okay. damage from staff um, after combat is added. Uh, if special is triggered during combat, inflicts uh, minus 6 attack and speed and panic on target and foes within 2 spaces of target after combat. Okay, okay. that's uh, not too bad. Not too bad at all. I think I still prefer like the um, gravity, but at least this is only like 2 cooldowns, so... It's not difficult to right, like, right. That's get true. Yeah, procs without like slaying. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So this is probably easier to just slap on anyone, but I think the other one's probably better. Yeah. All right. Let's scroll down. <laughs> um, okay. Never mind. It's all just you know, things we have. But that stuff's pretty good. Poetic justice in the normal summon pool. That's that's pretty good. That's gonna be very spicy. Oh yeah, like, for Poetic sure. Justice is so good. <laughs> slaughter. Yes, There's Slaughter. That. Slaughter. So, she just looks super good. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's honestly, like, probably the might be the best unit in the game. Or, er, in the banner. Not totally sure yet. We gotta see I mean, we'll how see. We gotta goes. see, yeah. Alright. What do you have? Oh, wait, no, that's ASN, you're safe, never mind. Um, all right, I'm going to go ahead and read Silent Breath for us. Accelerate special trigger if foe initiates combat or foe's HP is greater than equal to 75% at the start of combat. Grants all stats plus 5 to unit. Inflicts all stats minus X on foe, X being the current bonus on each of foe's stats times 2. Okay. Oh, okay. Interesting. And uh, deals damage equals to 20% of unit speed. Excluding AoEs. Not sure why you run AoE on an armor, but okay. <laughs> yeah. And uh, reduces damage from foe's first attack by 7 during combat. For standard weapons, uh, first attacks means only the first strike. For weapons that grant units attack twice, it means the first and second strike. Uh, if foe, And then the standard adaptive damage. Uh, huh. 7 damage reduction. That's interesting. Well, th yeah, that is flat damage reduction, so... That is true, yeah. It will stack with, like, Savvy Fighter um, and other, like, support you give him. So that's honestly looking pretty good. Yeah. The Daunt effect is really interesting because it only works if you have a bonus on the foe. But... Right, that's true. That's not always an option because... Unity stacking is now a thing, and often I think people stack Unity more than they stack, like, bonuses these days. Right, that's true. So, hmm. But I feel like st 
stats are pretty common these days. Like, people just passively just give out, like, plus, give plus four to your boat, uh, to your, uh, teammates and whatnot, and that could probably, uh, play into that a little bit, but at the same time, yeah, it's not guaranteed, but it's nice to have, um, if someone's trying to buff up your, you'll be like, no, no, uh-uh, yeah. <laughs> so that's pretty good, and, you know, I'm actually pretty surprised a non-coast is, like, fast, like, I would yeah, assume that was it would be, like, a slower, but... Th- Fast build. Kestrel stands three. Savvy Fighter 4. Yes, what My does God. Savvy Fighter 4 do? Um, if unit initiates combat, inflicts attack speed minus four on foe and neutralizes effects that guarantee foe's follow-up attacks and effects that prevent units' follow-up attacks during combat. And also, if unit speed is greater than or equal to foe's speed minus 10, um, reduces damage from foe's first attack by 40% during combat. Mm, okay. All right. That doesn't seem too different from OG Savvy Fighter. Right, yeah. I think the OG Savvy Fighter is like 30% for first attack. Um, I'm not sure about the speed minus 10 part. I think that might be new. Um, and I don't think it had attack and speed inflicted minus 4 on foe. Yeah, okay. Um, it's just uh, like the same thing, but with extra steps. <laughs> yeah, Savvy Fighter basically... Um, first, it uh, has the attack speed minus 4. Um, oh, okay. It increases the percentage by from 30 to 40, like you mentioned. And the condition is a lot more lenient. Savvy Fighter 3 is unit speed is greater than or equal to foe speed minus 4. This one is unit speed is greater than or equal to foe speed minus 10. Um, okay, all right. Well, uh, I don't know honestly, how I feel about this, honestly. <laughs> pretty small upgrade, but I feel like this is definitely something a lot of units wouldn't mind getting. I feel like this would be really good on Valentine's Lucina. Uh, just because she already comes with Savvy Fighter 4, so very easy yeah. to uh, inherit for her. You can inherit both Savvy Fighter 4 and AS Near Save at the same time. Um, right, yeah, it would have be really been good really, really good if this was AS Far Save. Um, but I guess we can't right, have nice right. things. <laughs> but it's yeah. IS. We never get nice things, honestly. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm not really feeling this um, unit that much, especially compared to like the other armors That's we've true, had. yeah. He's, he's more standard whereas like maria it feels like she can has she has a lot more impact in the game whereas like yeah. ananko seems like this another you know near yeah. safe unit pretty good but like nothing we've never seen before honestly yeah. and also like no armor neutralize armor effectiveness so like yeah same with dragon too so yeah there will be some things that are gonna melt him pretty badly but yeah. overall still pretty good I guess. I mean, if you go far save, you still run Hardy Fighter. Like, Savvy Fighter right, 4 doesn't yeah. change anything. <laughs> Where's the Anakos transformation? Hello? What is this? <laughs> yeah, I don't... I know All he was right. running around, like, <laughs> as a human yeah. form, but still. Anyway, this is, like, super hype. Yeah, rearmed Fallen Krom. Fell Exalt. <sighs> Okay, Heck that is a, yeah, that is awesome. That is very deep voice. <laughs> All right, we have more of fate to change fate shenanigans. I see. Gosh, yeah. All right, what is this? What's going on here? <laughs> Why don't you go ahead and read Arcane Devourer for us? Sure. All right. So, accelerate special trigger cooldown count minus one at start of combat if unit's HP is greater than twenty five percent. Grants everything plus five to unit. Grants special cooldown charge plus one to unit per attack. Um, and reduces damage from foe's first attack by forty percent during combat. And also, if unit speed is greater than foe's speed, neutralizes effects that guarantees foe's follow-up attacks and effects that prevents units follow-up attacks during combat. Okay, so this I assume this sword is more for like speedy sword users. Mm-hmm. Like, the other one seemed more for, like, slower swords. Right, um, yeah, for but sure. But this one has, like, the speed base and a few, has, like, the damage reduction by 40% on the first combat, uh, special cooldown charge plus one, and um, all stats plus five. Okay. Interesting. I mean, it's a rearmed weapon, so I guess that's cool. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's like the arcane Luin where like it's definitely for the faster units. Yeah. Um so yeah, not too bad. Um All right, what does I think getting, Fate uh, Unchanged 
do. Why don't you go ahead and All read right, that for yeah. us? All right, yeah. Uh, so, uh, move target uh, ally to opposite side of unit, grants another uh, action to unit, inflicts isolation on unit and pair up cohort, if any, through the next uh, action, inflicts exposure on nearest mm-hmm. foes within four spaces of both unit and target ally after movement through their next action and on foes within two spaces of those uh, foes equipped with a skill that can trigger the savior effect through their next actions wait uh, wait what wait what does it say okay it flicks exposure uh wait what on so, both units and target ally after movement through their next actions and on foes within two spaces of those foes, equipped with a skill that can trigger the savior effect through their next actions. Wait, what? So you you do this, you inflict exposure on the uh, nearest foe, and then it spreads, but it only spreads to those with savior. Seems like it. Yeah, that's kind of weird. That's why not just make it splash like literally any other like debuff. Right, I don't know. Maybe it'd be too OP then, but... I mean, I don't uh, think it would be that OP. <laughs> right, yeah. That's re- really weird. Yeah, the savior thing is kind of weird. If it was just two foes, or foes within two spaces, then that'd be pretty standard, but yeah. savior only? I mean, I don't know. I mean, I guess, I guess this it, is for, like, targeting, like, I guess, near savers that might protect right, that one yeah. person. But... Like, it still has to be within, like, two spaces, so I don't understand why they just don't, like, splash it. That's really weird. Yeah, it is really strange, but, yeah, I don't know. It's, I mean, uh, In like, any case, it's still pretty nice. It's still nice, yeah. I think I prefer a fate change from Brave Crawl more, just because of the stacks you can get. Oh, but, yeah, for sure. Yeah. All right, what is the snack for skill? Is it actually good? All right, uh, so inflicts speed and defense minus four on foe during combat. Oh, okay. So that's pretty nice. Uh, if a movement assist skill like reposition, shove, pivot, etc. is used by unit or targets unit, inflicts speed and defense minus seven and sabotage on nearest foes within four spaces of both unit and target ally after movement and on foes within two spaces of those foes equipped with a skill that can trigger savior. Why savior? Their next action. Yeah, what is Why? this? What is- Why? Why? <laughs> <laughs> like, actually. That's so weird. Yeah. What is up with the savior hate? I, don't- <laughs> I mean, I respect it. But, like, why not just splash it? Yeah, I don't know. It's, it is really strange. Um, Like, it's not like snag is, like, that great of a skill anyways, originally. Yeah, exactly. But uh But yeah, I don't know. It's 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 kind of weird with the savior thing. Maybe it would be too OP if it just kind of targeted everyone. So there's like, "Oh, we'll just do the most important foes, which are the savior units," which I guess that kind of makes sense. I guess so. I don't know. I'm going to have to take some like thought into this. Though I will say, I think for most um most units, you'd rather have Kanto and Trace over the skill um, right for sure and i think there's just a lot better b options these days than this i feel like it's for very specific units like like the cr- it's like, literally uh, just for crom and i guess lucina this, this crom <laughs> yeah yeah exactly so um or maybe even i mean the thing Actually, is though I'm like really... like brave crom still wants trace um valentine not valentine's uh Legendary Lucina and both Legendary Crom and Valentine's Crom would rather have Special Spiral 4 with Ruptured Sky. Um, I'm not and, sure if they could even equip this. I think this is Flying and uh, Cavalry only. Yeah, Flying and Cavalry only. But like, okay. I don't know. This is weird. This is such a weird unit. I don't know how, yeah. what to think about this. <laughs> I mean, at least we have another source of infantry speed tactics, so that's pretty cool. And <laughs> yeah, on it. That's true. And on rearmed here, that's actually really good value. Yeah, that yeah, that's actually pretty OP. Okay, very interesting banner. Um, okay, that person's definitely not the villain. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh uh-uh. uh All right, I guess uh, we can like 
give our overall thoughts. Um, what do you think about this banner? Man, I am really hyped about all, all these units, except for probably a non-coast. And even then, I will be happy if I get a non-coast. Um, and I'm actually pretty surprised at how excited I am for that Maria. She seems yeah. like she's going to be a really good supporting unit. Like, my god. Yeah, she looks to be very, very fun. And honestly, like, she looks super cool. And yeah, I'm super excited to see what people will do with her, or scared, I guess. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's true. Yeah. But yeah, I, like you mentioned, like, the only one I'm a bit more iffy on is Anonkos. Um, I don't. I think he's pretty basic, if I do say so myself. Um, and also, like, Krom's kit is super weird. I don't know what to think about it right now. Um, I guess we'll have to wait and see how things go. Byleth being right, yeah, definitely uh, need some testing. Yeah, Byleth having like speed preempt in her weapon and the divine pulse and damage reduction will be very strong. She will be probably be a very strong um, Omni tank. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know. Probably in Ethan rates, you can use her pretty well. I don't know about um, summoner's duels. Um, but I, I guess we'll have to wait and see how people use her. I do know Satoshi is like over the moon right now, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. Probably. I, that was definitely a, uh, one I was not anticipating. A fallen, uh, Byleth. But hey, mm -hmm. we need to get that three houses rep in there somehow, right? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh, I guess uh, that ends the reaction. Thank you so much, Rocket Gal, for joining me. This was super fun, as always. Yeah, definitely. Uh, thank you for having me. It was, uh, yeah, definitely fun to uh, go over some crazy Fallen <laughs> units. Uh, it's always really exciting to see who gets the Fallen treatment this year. And I think, mm -hmm. I think I'm pretty satisfied with all of them this year. They're all yeah. uh, pretty cool and um, really excited to uh, get my hands on them. Likewise. Hopefully next year we will get some engaged Fallen candidates, but... Obviously, I guess they don't want to spoil it too soon. Um, but yeah, overall, I'm pretty pleased with this banner as well, despite some weird kit things. But yeah, thank you so much, everyone, for watching. If you did enjoy the content, be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell, not only to my channel, but to Rocket Gal's channel as well. The link will be in the description down below. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and see y'all next time. Bye, everyone. See ya.